Today we'll be covering what you'll need to provide to your current property management company for a smooth transition to your new provider. You'll first want to check the termination clause or termination penalty for your property management agreement and then you'll want to ensure you're given the proper notice and time frame. Some may have a cancellation fee, ours does not. We're confident in our services we provide and don't feel we should hold our property owners hostage or penalize them if they are unhappy with our services. What you'll need from your property management provider is the tenant's name and contact information, a copy of the executed lease and addendums, security deposits and pet deposits, all keys, gate fobs, amenity cards, parking passes for the property, all warranty for any repairs and maintenance which have been completed at the property, a copy of the tenant ledger, a copy of the move-in inspection, and any miscellaneous items that pertain to the tenant and the property being transferred. When the property is vacant and your tenant has vacated, the breakup process tends to be much easier. But keep in mind you don't have to wait until that time. Do your due diligence and research the new company you're going to be transferring to. There's nothing worse than thinking the grass is greener on the other side, and when you're on the other side, finding out it sucks. Trade up and never trade down. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about transferring property management companies, feel free to reach out to the Listing Real Estate Management. We're here to save you time, resources, and money. Cheers.